Hi guys. After weeks of stagnation, the cryptocurrency market experienced some slight growth this week. However, leading cryptocurrencies Bitcoin and Ethereum remained relatively stable, with minimal gains over the past seven days. Bitcoin, BTC, saw a 1.8% increase this week, trading at approximately $27,189 on Saturday. It briefly crossed the $28,000 mark earlier in the week following a resolution to the U.S. debt ceiling standoff among lawmakers. Ethereum, ETH, outperformed Bitcoin this week, growing by 4.1% and reaching $1,903 at the time of writing. While there were no significant losses among the top cryptocurrencies, several coins saw notable rallies. XRP rose by 10% to $0.52, cents. Solana, SOL, grew by 8% to $21.18, Litecoin, LTC, rallied by 10% to $96.94, and Tron surged by 9.4% to $0.083773. In other news, Tether, USDT, a dollar peg stablecoin, reached a new all-time high market capitalization of $83.6 billion. Regulatory discussions also made headlines this week. Bali, a popular tourist destination in Indonesia, reaffirmed its ban on using cryptocurrencies for payments, threatening penalties and deportation for violators. Meanwhile, the United States witnessed progress in debt ceiling negotiations, blocking a proposed 30% excise tax on crypto firms based on energy consumption. In Abu Dhabi, the central banks of Hong Kong and the United Arab Emirates discussed plans to strengthen financial cooperation and regulate virtual assets. Hong Kong's decision to allow retail investors to trade crypto was seen as a significant development for the industry, particularly in China, where strict regulations have been imposed since mid-2021. Senator Elizabeth Warren of the United States raised concerns about crypto's role in facilitating criminal activities, citing an instance in which a criminal organization used crypto to purchase precursor drugs for manufacturing the synthetic opioid fentanyl, worth nearly half a trillion dollars. Gemini, a prominent crypto exchange, announced its intent to acquire a license in the United Arab Emirates following its recent establishment of a European headquarters in Dublin, Ireland. Lastly, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, proposed revising its risk management rules to account for evolving technologies like cryptocurrencies and artificial intelligence. In Texas, miners received positive news as Senate Bill SB 1751, which could have affected their energy credit incentives, did not pass in the legislature. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more updates and news. Bye.